Happy New Year. Uh, I don't know about you, but I like to find new and interesting ways to disappoint my parents. Yeah, and I know it's not only fans, it's much, much worse. Um, aside from doing comedy, I'm also a scientist. Yeah, and more specifically, I'm a primatologist. Uh, not to be confused with a proctologist, although I do deal with a comparable amount of shit in my day-to-do life. Day-to-do life, day -to -do life work, too. Uh, I study monkeys and apes. And spoiler alert, alert, you all are a bunch of primates, right? Okay? So I'm taking notes. Especially you, sir. I saw what you did. It's actually my brother. I did see what he did. You're filthy. And I love you for it. Uh, but yeah, I like to... Good sport, Robbie. Uh, I like to look at the similarities and differences between humans and non-human primates, uh, including sexuality. And let me tell you folks, nothing steams my clam more than when I hear Christian conservatives say, homosexuality, it's just not natural, it's an abomination in the face of the Lord. No, Raylene, what's an abomination is your unironic mullet. Uh, <laughs> homosexuality is totally natural, and let me explain. Now, I went to parochial school from kindergarten to 12th grade, and what they drive home is that God created every last one of us in his image. So if this same God created Lance Bass, Bert and Ernie, Wanda Sykes, the entire cast of Queer Eye, and Lindsey Graham, <laughs> guess what? God is hella gay. Like strong gay, like jazz hands and Jodie Foster gay. Like if Brian Murphy took Brokeback Mountain and put it on ice, starring Johnny Weir and Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> still not as gay as your God. I mean, this Sky Daddy created uh, bottomless brunch and rainbows. That makes me want to believe in God. Uh, but if that's not enough to convince Raylene that homosexuality is totally normal, she should walk on down to the dog park. Because if dick sniffing was an Olympic sport, got dogs would be taking home gold every time. And I know as a scientist, at least 1,500 species have been documented engaging in homosexual behavior. And those are just the ones we've seen. I like to think the second I walk away from my monkeys, two pendulous disco balls fall from the canopy uh, and, and, and like trays of poppers and cocaine come out. And it's Studio 50 Forest. That is what it is. A big promiscuous work, you know. Nothing on Orgy Dome. Uh, if you're familiar with Burning Man. Uh, but our closest genetic relatives, bonobos, uh, they, uh, they're called pan paniscus, but they might as well be pan promiscuous because they settle all conflict through buttering biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany steals your banana, you bone. <laughs> Kevin forgets to pick up your dry cleaning, you stub. And Susan kills your whole entire family in horrific circumstances, and you get a little mad, and then you fuck till Sunday. <laughs> That's what they do. But it's not just males and females. Females will do this thing called chi chi rubbing, where they love, rub their lady bits together. It's like primate scissoring. And males do this thing called penis fencing. Uh, it's the scientific term for sword fights. <laughs> and we're all taking notes. Pop quiz. Uh, but Billy Joel was wrong. We didn't start the fire. It was bonobos. <laughs> yeah, and let me just tell you about my favorite gay animal. The American buffalo. Oh yes, these horny herbivores put the bi in bison. Yeah, forget home on the range, it is homosexual on the range because that is how the buffalo bone. At least 55% of mountings during mating season are between males. And before you're thinking, oh, I don't know, let me explain the gay way. Maybe it's dominance, you know? Uh, Kevin's just asserting dominance on Steve. No. Kevin is inserting dominance into Steve repeatedly. And Steve doesn't seem to mind. Not one bit. Steve's coming back for more. Uh, and get this. It's the subordinate, subordinate males that are actually amounting the dominant males. Because guess what? You gotta get a dress for the job you want, not the job you got. <laughs> right? <sighs> yeah, and they uh, are trying to determine why they're doing so much of this uh, lo gay lovemaking. I mean, aside from the fact that they just apparently really, really like it, the females only want to do it once a year. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie only wants to do it on my birthday. <laughs> but with Steve. <laughs> with Steve. Every day is my birthday. <laughs> Gotta love Steve. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with a fun animal fact. Quick question: Who do you think has the which animal do you think has the biggest balls in the world? Whale. That's close. Whale. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the buffalo just 
get a lot of gay love, but it actually whales do too. But yes, the southern right whale has the largest testicles in the world, uh, and uh, these silos of seed are 1,100 pounds each, each testicle. So that's 200 or 2,200 pounds of uh, DNA satchels that they've got tucked in their sweet body. Uh, but not just that, they have an 8 to 12 foot long prehensile baloney pony. <laughs> this thing could slap you in the face. You could get slapped in the face by a cetacean salami. <laughs> That's a whole new meaning to cold cocking, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Natalia Reagan. Be sure to keep <laughs>